Hostiles, 12 o'clock and 6 miles. What is this tack they're looking for anyway? It's some kind of weapon left by the ancients. The kind that decides who wins the war. Have Moloch's warriors been here before? I don't like the look of this. That was above and beyond. Isn't the Lambda site off-world, sir? I'd like to briefly take a moment and say thank you to everyone who has continued to join us over the Florida Maquis Patreon channel. The Holy Bible teaches us, rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. If you'd like to join us over there, it's only one U.S. dollar per month at the base level, and even less than that if you sign up for an entire year, and no matter what level you choose, it's fully refundable. First 90 days, no questions asked. What's the difference between YouTube and Patreon? At Patreon, we can take the gloves off. There are no sensors. We have, of course, the Patreon firewall, and then we also have Vimeo that we're partnering with, and that gives us one extra layer of protection where we can speak our minds and we can take advantage of rights that we used to enjoy in this country freely. would love to have you over there. There are hundreds of of exclusive videos never before seen here on YouTube. Please, if you have the ability, would love to have you over there. You won't regret it. God bless all of you, and thank you so much. Just about every single culture across the planet has some story of a winged flying serpent. In South America, where we have been searching recently, they have this... Uh, God that they referred to as Quetzalcoatl, and I believe the Maya called him Kukul Khan. A long time ago, when I first started looking into Google Earth Pro in Antarctica, I found what looked like the skeletal remains of one of these giant flying serpents, and it was met with a lot of disdain and doubt. I haven't shown it in a long time probably nearly a year, but I found a third piece of evidence to corroborate what I think we're seeing. And it has to do with one of these very old maps that we've been looking at. You would have to zoom in very closely on one corner of this map that I'm going to show to reveal this exact thing that I found over a year ago in Antarctica. Of course, Quetzalcoatl was largely referred to as Q, the Great Deceiver. The Egyptians also had a winged god that was a serpent of types. This is where kind of the whole argument of dragons gets mixed up, because we have you know, wyverns, we have dragons, we have flying serpents, all pretty much describing the same thing. Also, two other things that I would like to show in this video. There has been this... um. Uh, opinion, I guess, where people think that when I talked about Gigantum Regio, that it means region of giants. That's partially true. It can mean that. I do think in this particular case, though, the term Regio here does mean royal. And I'm going to show another image where it shows of one of these old maps, where it shows a giant with a crown near a castle. Which leads me to my third thing that I'm going to show is there was this giant shadow that I showed that looks like a castle. Once again, these old map makers 
were creating images that were more like intelligence reports than just maps. Because you could see all sorts of different things that you might encounter in the region as opposed to just, you know, the lay of the land, so to speak. Now, these giants that occupied this area called Patagonia or um, Tierra del Fuego, just about every time you see them, they are holding some type of weapons of war, but not advanced weapons of war. Bows, arrows, clubs, and shields. And they're almost always depicted having light or fair skin. Some people have made the argument that, you know, it could be um, people of African descent that are taller. Almost nowhere do you see them depicted with that color of skin. Here, and I'm going to zoom this in real quick. I wanted to cover this so I didn't forget. I guess this is about as close as the computer will let me get. Let's see if I can get the camera closer. Another benefit, by the way, to filming your computer screen is you have uh, multiple techniques for getting close in on images. This image shows a Spanish conquistador standing up right here, and it shows this particular individual sitting down on a rock, and his and he's a good full head taller, seated. And if you look at the size of this guy's head and the size of this guy's head, this one sitting down has to be at least 10 to 11 feet tall. Also, it shows this image, and this is only the second time I've seen this, of this mythical beast called the Sukurat. It's this very strange face of a man, body of a lion, giant winged, well not winged, but giant feathered tail that would cover its young on its back. I, I can't even describe another animal in existence like it. This is the other image of the Sukarath right here. Showing, once again, another giant. And this one shows them not quite so different in size, but stature-wise, you can tell these are much larger individuals. Also, with this image, who remembers the game Joust from the 80s? Sitting on the back of an ostrich, shooting a bow and arrow. Or in that particular case just holding a giant broadsword and, and jousting with it. Very, very strange. And if you look into the history of that game, one of the creators was a, a German that um, was even admitted he was using some historical data to create the game. Now, let me find the map of... We'll get to that in a minute. Okay, here's the map. i got to zoom back out real quick to show the whole map. Now, here's the image I was originally talking about with the winged flying serpent. Hold on. Up here, in the upper left-hand corner of this map, it shows a giant holding a shield. I'm not sure what's in his right hand here. It's some type of a cylindrical object, but he's holding a shield being chased by a giant serpent with blue wings. Now, if we make the, the leap, I guess, given that we can see how big the giants are in relation to the trees, how big this thing must be. I mean, this thing would be way, way bigger than any normal human being. Which goes to what I wanted to show from Google Earth Pro. So we have the stories in antiquity of winged flying serpents. We have a map maker who put an image like this on a map. Now let me go to Google Earth Pro and show you what I found. Now I outlined this so that people can see what I'm talking about. It looks like a giant corpse. It really does. Some people said it was just the ridge of a mountain. If you go down here, you can see what looks like the skull of it. You've got the two eye holes and the, the nose or the mouth here. It's partially buried in the snow, yes. Now you see a giant spine 
and then you see this area of the snow that's disturbed. This might have been where the wings were. And then the spine continues. And then the tail curves off to, I guess, you know, its right, left, however you want to look at it. So let me turn off the... That's what I'm talking about. Now this thing is enormous. I'll measure this real quick for you guys. We'll do it in meters. Starting down here at the head, all the way to the tail. It's, you know, it's 133 meters long. But another thing about this is that it's way up on the top of a mountain. And there were stories of these winged serpents dwelling on mountaintops. Now, something else I wanted to show it was actually where we were when I came down here to Google Earth Pro. This is another very uh, old find. And I still have yet to have anyone make any kind of a rational explanation for what could be creating this shadow other than some type of a castle. Now, this by itself is not evidence of anything. Any one find is not really evidence of anything. You need to corroborate. Well, let's go back to our old maps real quick. And let me zoom back out. Actually, wanting to zoom in on a different area. Now, this is an area that they're referring to as Terre Brazil. In the background, you can see down here in the corner that there are these, what look like, castles. In the 15th century, there were no castles in Brazil. There were no castles in South America. Why would a map maker have put these here? unless there was something like that in the region with these this land of giants and to let's see the royal hold on let me find the uh there is one of these images here it is let me zoom in on this see this guy here to the right He's wearing a crown. And yes, there is some other imagery here that's more disturbing. I didn't really want to show it, but there we go. But that goes along with a lot what the Bible said about the lands of giants, Canaan, the things that they did. There was imagery and other things that showed, you know, cannibalism and activities like that, that it jives. It absolutely jives with the Bible. It jives with historical accounts plus these map makers, and, most importantly, it jives with what we're seeing in the imagery at Google Earth Pro. I really, and I've said it before, I'll say it again, I don't think Google even knew what they had or what they were revealing. Because when they put that stuff out, that database, the vast majority of people in the world didn't have access to high definition touch screens that could resolve in 4k now this isn't 4k what you're looking at here this is um uhd it's um 1028 by what 768 whatever that is but i have a 4k screen on the way and i think when we show this in 4k a lot of the things that i haven't been able to show because they just are too blurry. If you were here, you could see it. But I just can't get it to translate to YouTube. I have tried to upload some of these videos in 4K. It just takes forever. The upload, where I'm at, the, the download speeds are great. Fantastic. The upload speeds are just, they're, they're throttled. And I just, I have no way to change that. So, anyway. Um, but yeah, Castle's in the background. The, uh, the Reggio the um, giant with a crown, meaning regio, meaning royal, not region. 
and the flying serpent and so many more things that are just way too disturbing to even talk about. This is the thing about when you're looking at all of these images, it shows that things might not have been all that peachy keen with the new arrivals. I think the giants were coming from Antarctica. And they came to war with the people that were indigenous to southern South America. It would explain the difference in how they appeared. Um, it would explain why they were always seemed to be at war. Always. And this idea of winged serpents. Let me cover this too before I let it, it runs out of my mind. This image here showing two giants next to this smaller individual. They have their hands outreached. And this guy is handing them something. Now, the fact that this guy is holding a halberd, this isn't a native weapon to the region. So this would be probably some type of a European. This looks like extortion to me. I'm not sure what he's handing over, but that would seem like something a giant would do. You know, paid protection, kind of mob mentality type of thing. Everywhere you look, you know, they use this term regio over and over again. And yes, it might mean region, but usually when they were trying to talk about the land of, the French use the word P-A-Y-S, Pi de whatever. Um, and if you go to, just go to Google Translate and type in regio, it's royal in Spanish. So, you know, I'm 50-50 on it, but given that I can show that they've imaged some type of a giant wearing a crown. I think this is what we're looking at. These giants all have headdresses on. And look into Joust, too, by the way, the, the German that created that game. I'm wondering if this is something that uh, he had um, gotten out of these old German history books. Also, in another video, I had shown this image of these people with their faces in the middle of their torsos and nose head, no heads. They were referred to as blemies, B-L-E-M-M-Y-E-S, something else to look up. Um, what I know about it could fit in a thimble, but I'll do a video on it eventually. But the fact that these giants had virtually no technology, at least not depicted anyway, and that you could show them, like in this particular case here, there's, um, it's always war. Here it shows an image very, very strange. I wonder if I can get closer on this. Almost human-like with the tail and reverse knees like hooves. I mean, I know some of these guys probably had some imagination, but on a map, if the maps, they needed to be accurate. They needed to be them to be the intelligence reports of their days. And I know I'm kind of rambling here, but there was just a lot I wanted to cover in this, um, in this video because there's a lot to, to see, to show. But anyway, I will, uh, I guess I will just leave it there. I think this is proof for that flying serpent and this castle. So, like, share, subscribe. We'll see you next time. Would like to briefly take a moment and say thank you to everyone who has continued to join us over the Florida Maquis Patreon channel. The Holy Bible teaches us, Rejoice always. Pray without ceasing. Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. If you'd like to join us over there, it's only one U.S. dollar per month at the base level, and even less than that if you sign up for an entire year, and no matter what level you choose, it's fully refundable. First 90 days, no questions asked. What's the difference between YouTube and Patreon? At Patreon, we can take the gloves off. There are no censors. We have, of course, the Patreon firewall, and then we also have Vimeo that we're partnering with, and that gives us one extra layer of protection where we can speak our minds and we can 
take advantage of rights that we used to enjoy in this country freely. Would love to have you over there. There are hundreds of exclusive videos never before seen here on YouTube. Please, if you have the ability, would love to have you over there. You won't regret it. God bless all of you, and thank you so much. Hot time, 12 o'clock and 6 miles. What is this tack they're looking for anyway? It's some kind of weapon left by the ancients. The kind that decides who wins the war. Have Moloch's warriors been here before? 